Hi everybody, Dennis from Indian Motorcycle Springfield. Today I want to show you this 1947 Indian Chief. I just took this bike out of storage. I really want to get this bike going for next year's riding. This bike I call the Doug Miles bike and for a very good reason. This bike was owned by Doug Miles. Doug was a great guy, World War II veteran, Navy guy. He bought this bike in Puerto Rico when he was stationed over there in 1948. This bike was shipped in, it was what he told me, it was for the Puerto Rican police force. It's a Bonneville chief. He walked into the dealership there, saw the bike, fell in love with it, got a hold of his mother, says, hey, I need some money. She sent him the money thinking that he needed bail money. But no, he wanted to buy the motorcycle. So he got the motorcycle. Doug had this bike all his life. He was able to put it on the ship's deck there in Puerto Rico. They took it to the Canary Islands, Trinidad, and then finally back to Norfolk, Virginia. From there, he was discharged. Him and a buddy of his got on this bike, rode it from Norfolk back up to Chicopee, Mass. Doug told me he hit every gin mill on the way back up. And he said the guy that was on the back of the bike was a big guy. Doug was kind of a smaller guy, but just some great stories out of Doug. He was an awesome dude. When he passed, he left me this bike in his will. And I'm very, very proud to own this bike. Doug lives through me and this motorcycle. Hopefully someday I can do something somewhere with this bike. But what was really cool about this motorcycle in the uh, toolbox was all the paperwork. Here, I believe, is the loan documentation for the bike. It's all in Spanish. If you take a look at it, price was $825. Doug, I think, put down $200, so the balance was $625. It's all in Spanish. So I've got that documentation. I've also got this one right here. We've got the service card for the motorcycle. Nice documentation from the Indian dealer. We've got the service policy right here. You can see the implementation date right here of January 8th, 1948. Awesome stuff to have. You can see it's in really, really good shape. Here, I have Doug's license plate from Puerto Rico. Basically a stick-on type of thing, but he kept it all his life. You can see the, uh, the envelope where it's kept in San Juan. So this is an awesome machine. Follow us over the next uh, month or so. We're going to go through this motorcycle, get it running, hopefully take it down to Daytona. We'll see how this bike runs. I did ride it once before. I rode it for Doug while he was still alive down the Indian Day Rally as an honor to him. We brought the bike to the Indian Cajon Day Rally in Springfield, Mass, and let Doug sit next to it and tell his war stories. It was a great day, a day I really appreciate. I love the guy, and I'm super happy to work on this bike and knowing the history. I'm Dennis from New Motorcycle Springfield. Thank you very much.